We're going to go grab some of that really wet firewood we were just showing you and head out to Enchanted Rock. Yeah, and it's been storming like crazy. Hurricane Harvey is upon us now. It looks like it's kind of dissipating a little bit, but it doesn't matter to us. We're going to go camp in this mess. Did your phone get wet? A little bit. That's all right, though. I think it'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Glad I have a phone case. I am glad that I have an oatmeal cream pie. I would imagine that a lot of the people watching this video right now have already sort of figured out why this is such a special trip for us. Maybe some of them figured out another reason why we decided to go into Enchanted Rock too. Melody and I have been separated for the last four months, but we're not anymore. We decided to get back together and work on our beautiful marriage. It's Sunday. We usually don't head out till Monday, right? Mm-hmm. It's Sunday, so we have a lot of time. <laughs> We're actually going right in here to Fredericksburg. And based on the movement that that image shows, I don't think that storm's gonna like pound on us. I think we might get some residual light rainfall and wind gusts. Okay, off to find out if we're gonna even be able to camp here tonight or not. Even if we can't camp here or not, we're camping somewhere. We can't sleep in this truck because, I mean, look at that. It's piled all the way to the top, like it always is. trip again in four months and what do we do this time we forgot something very important that would be lighting we have no lanterns no flashlights no headlamps I might be able to find my headlamp we do have some incredibly soaking wet firewood so that might help but I don't know state parkers is back Melody Parker just came up with a fantastic idea we're gonna go in and solve our light problem. Yeah, it really wouldn't be a State Parker trip without forgetting something critical. So we got a couple Energizer headlamps. That ought to hold us over until we can find ours. Mine will never be found, so this will just be my new one. Okay. All of you folks that are dealing with the storm in Austin right now, this is the sky in Fredericksburg. So what is the worst thing that can happen? A tornado. And now we're at the point where we know we've got everything we need. The real question is, are we going to be able to camp here? If we can't, we got some thinking to do. If we can, yay. Crazy thing is, the sky looks darker this way than it did going that way. But that's all right. We have a tent. when flashing. Uh-oh. I would say our fears have been realized, mm -hmm. huh? Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, okay, what about Oxford Ranch right down the road from here? Why not? Let's give it a try. Yeah, it's all grass and dirt road. We might get stuck. That could be cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. Switching to night mode. Some of you are probably wondering, why didn't you already know it was closed? You should have called and found out. Well, to answer that question is I did. I looked on the website and I checked the park closures and it didn't say anything about being closed. Also, if I would have called them and found out they were closed, we might not have gotten in the car and driven out and saw all these beautiful clouds and all this awesome scenery that we've seen. So yeah, it's just another one of those things, man. Oh. 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 I was filming, but you couldn't see anything because it was dark, but we almost just slammed into a big pile of black cows on the middle of the road. Good reactions. <sighs> Fist bumped that one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> All right, things are looking up. We found the Oxford Ranch campground. Guess we're going to bust out the cash and See about maybe paying somebody to camp. It's only 9.13. Brochure, here's your change. 
It was only $16. Nice. And we have the entire campground to ourselves. Let's go crazy! All right, well that to me qualifies as exciting. He said, go out there, have a bunch of fun, pick you a spot, camp out. That's exactly what we planned on doing. Yep. Yep, thank you. Clear, clear path, people. You're good. This one's having second thoughts about coming. Dude. You got a problem with us? Why don't you move along, sir? Just, just move along. I'm sorry to all of you that it's taking us so long just to get situated. Yeah, some things are worth waiting for. Hey guys, well, we need to get back through again. Is that okay? Oh boy. All right, we got around those two. Gotta get around this guy. Should I stay here and park or should I park on the road? I don't see why you shouldn't just stay here. Okay. The parkers have parked. Got the bright red light for night stuff. Got the bright white light for other night stuff. And this is where we'll stow most of our stuff. And there's Melody. Hello. Hi. Gleaming red. I don't know if the cows are happy that we're here, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm happy that we're here. Ooh, and it's very, very cold. Really tasty. Now we're camping. I love that sound. We bought a new tarp today. It's a little big, but it works and it's colorful. Uh, you know, our rain flies stake down on the outside of it. So you don't think we're gonna blow away, do you? No way. I think we're gonna be just fine. Stars are out and everything. I think we're gonna be good. Take that, Harvey. It's dark out. Sure is. You know what that means? Mwah. That means we're gonna set up and show you everything in the daytime. Yeah. Good night, guys. We have some relaxing to do. Good morning folks, today is official day one of our first adventure back together in months. We're kind of tired. Did you sleep good last night? I slept really good last night. Did you guys sleep good? Melody here has warmed us up a nice little fire. About to put some coffee on that sucker. Question. Do we have a way to make the bacon? We got our A-frame that Dustin and William got us for Christmas. There we go. Hang right over the fire. Get some bacon making. Mm -hmm. And coffee. There you go. Yes. Nothing but the best. And now the most exciting part of our morning Commencing of the bacon cookings. Oh, yeah. Maple bacon. It's like pancakes, but bacon shaped. Well, we've eaten, and I think we're going to pack up and leave Oxford Ranch. It's beautiful out here today. It's a little windy, but we've got a lot of exploring to do. I think we're going to head into Lano. So, um, don't go anywhere. We did come away from this with a whole bunch of firewood. We're all packed up, ready to relocate. Okay, well the clerk at Steve's was very informative. Melody's getting caught up on her socials. I've got to charge up this camera, so we're gonna probably sit and eat some food, and charge up for an hour or two, and then we're gonna hike along the Lano River. It's gonna be beautiful, hot, windy, yeah. Uh, 
we got the phones charged up. Got the camera charged up. As soon as Melody gets out of the restroom, we're gonna leave Joe's Bar and Grill, which by the way, was very, very good. Highly recommend if you're in Lano for any reason at all, stop into the square, step into Joe's Bar and Grill. Did you like your quesadilla burger? Oh man, it was excellent. Did you like your sliders? <laughs> the beer is nice and icy cold too. Zegan? Yeah, Texas baby. Best sign ever. Well, I guess I'll never get charged for water here. you have to stay 200 feet away from the edge. I've never played disc golf. If I ever did play, this looks like a pretty cool course though. This is one of the oldest standing buildings in Lano. However, this is not where it was originally built. It was actually built upstream and moved here in 1991. They got boots next to the bed, an old horse saddle. It's unlocked. I think they knew we were coming. I think you did. Oh <gasps> Lord. Okay. Dare we? We're going. There's a set of boots. There's a moderately well-kept bed. Looks like an old furnace. There's a Raggedy Ann doll. Oh my gosh, I used to have one of those. So did my sister. Stay. You got bridges. You got a saddle. So basically what we're having to do here is bushwhack along this Lano River bank. Doesn't look like anybody's been out here for quite some time. We're gonna press forward a little further, check it out. That is the terrain that we're looking at. I don't know that we are prepared to go through that. She's in shorts, he's in shorts. 
We wear short shorts. We don't wear short shorts, but. Maybe at night when nobody's <laughs> looking. Maybe. What'd you find? Found the geocache sign-in. They usually have a paper that you sign into. That was the only thing left. Where did you find it at? Right here. Right there on the ground. See, last time we were here, we found one down there. What do you think? Should I throw it back down there? Back well, in its back in its rightful home. Hopefully. The geocache is GPS marked down there. It does not belong where it was. So we put it back in its rightful spot. The last person to sign it was from August 13th. It's now August 27th. Never hurts to grab a little information of a town you like. Drive around in the car, have the passenger read it. You end up learning about some cool stuff that you come back to the next time to check out. Fist bump. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now on to our next adventure. Edit. As my answer points out, damn it is considered a stop. Damn it, which confirms eat white. They have 24 Ooh, flavors. You were about to cuss, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Somebody picking your gas spot? Yes. I'm very patient. Like people. I'm just in the service industry. <laughs> I'm in retail. She serves food and beverages. So if we say we hate people, give us that moment. Let us experience that hate. But we love you. <laughs> Got it to ourselves. State Parker style. We forgot stuff this time, but we fixed that problem. Well, you can tell that we've had storms lately. The water's definitely up higher. These winds are reminding me of the North Padre Island National Seashore. It's gonna be like that tonight, probably all night. That's okay. I'd rather have the wind than the rain. I'm gonna start some fire with some wet wood because we have a really tasty chicken breast to cook tonight. It looks like it's time for dinner preparation. Yes? Oh yeah. Chicken breast and teriyaki sauce with some asparagus and hatch green chilies. We had a bit of a crisis. We dropped one of these chickens on the ground. No big deal. I don't know if that's gonna be enough chicken for two of us. <laughs> now that we've fed the cats, it's either a really weak knife or some really strong asparagus. <laughs> Let's go with really weak knife. As long as you still have one of your fingers, I'm good. 
So the last time we were here, we were dealing with kittens all over the place. Now we're dealing with cats. They've just grown. It's been about six months. Well, it's dark outside now. We've switched to night mode. Obviously, you can tell that's why everything's green and my eyeballs look black. We've got some chicken. What do we have? Asparagus. Asparagus. Hatch green chilies. Hatch green chilies. Oh, that's our timer. Our timer went off. That's right. But that means the chicken has another 15 minutes. See, it's kind of like the bacon earlier. It's right there on cooking point, but just enough to where I kind of like it rotisserie style, which makes this A-frame great. However, it takes a little bit longer to cook. We're okay with you guys tonight. We're okay. So, oh, there's another one. There's another one. Y'all are lonely. You're not getting any of our food, though. They might if we don't finish it all. I intend to finish it, but I can't promise that I will. We do have an entire day tomorrow. I don't want to wake up with a full belly, because then I'll have to poop. You're going to have to poop anyway. <laughs> yeah. And we have all day tomorrow. Mm -mm. Leftovers aren't going to work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that looks delicious. Looks like guts. That's what we eat. Melody Parker, I'd just like to thank you for doing such a good job on all these camping trips with all the cooking that you do. I know I don't work that hard, but you feed me well. Thank you. Chicken's ready. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That is a spare of greatness right mm -hmm. there. Oh yeah. That's good. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Now I know Clint doesn't want any part of this, but I do. I might take a bite. Oh yeah. Well that was fun. We had a little live feed on yeah. Facebook. People telling us, hey, don't give away too much. I get <laughs> it. I get it. We broke a cardinal rule. You're supposed to set up your camp when you get to your camp spot and all we did was set up our food. So with that, we're gonna leave you and we'll see you in the morning. We were gonna go to bed. We were in the process of getting our bed set up and we discovered this. This is the Parker Mobile. This is my truck. Oh, no, what going? is going on going? here? Going? Look at this. Oh at this. my God. What are they? They're insects. They have completely painted my truck. <laughs> They're all over the tire. Our wheel. They're all over us now. Oh, okay. I've never seen anything like this in my life. What are they? I can usually tell you what insect we're looking at. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. I think for tonight, we've decided to camp under the stars. We just deed it up. I think we're gonna be okay. Sorry for the bright lights in your face. We have to see. Tomorrow is another day, so. We're not done. Nope. Sorry this video is 48 minutes long. <laughs>It is Tuesday. It's our final day out on this adventure. We woke up to a beautiful sunrise. I wasn't able to capture it. I was too tired. My sleeping bag broke. But we've had our coffee. We're boiling some eggs. I think it's going to be a great day out here in the hill country. Melody's going to go find the restroom. Bye! Well, it just wouldn't be a State Parker's morning if we didn't whip up some hard-boiled eggs in our tea kettle there. Mix that with some beautifully done instant coffee. And I think we're off to a wonderful start. We got some amazing lakefront property today. And it looks like it's going to make for a beautiful day. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot on us. We did get a little sunburned yesterday. But that's alright. We have protection for that. And there she is. So what's the conditions of the restrooms out here? Not bad. Just one little bathroom. Same place it was last time. <laughs>
a little caffeine to get us going. Now we have to figure out, hey, why am I missing missing a little thing there? Huh. It's all them crazy dirt roads you keep driving me on, <laughs> rattling all the bolts out of my truck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's also why I had to have the drive shaft replaced and the radiator rebuilt and the tires re replaced and the clutch cable replaced. It's almost like a new truck with 223,000 miles on it. Thank you. You're welcome. We've decided where we're going, finally. We had to stop off at the park in Lano again and charge up some batteries, but we're gonna head in the direction of San Saba. Maybe do Colorado Bend, maybe do Barefoot. Not sure. Would be nice to see those folks over at Bad Bob's Bend store though. Hey, we are back in the land of familiarity and bliss and happiness. We're gonna go into this little store, Bad Bob's Bend store, say our hellos, maybe get something, I don't know, color fire. Oh yeah, that's all we need. So, we always gotta support our local businesses, right? Right here we got Smellin' Roses, not a local business, but he's a fellow YouTuber and we really like his videos and we've hiked with him before. Out in Tennessee, that was good. But we got Bad Bob's Bend store, they hooked us up with a couple stickers, so I will proudly sport the Bad Bob sticker on the Parker Mobile. A little crooked, but it gets the job done. Well, it was nice to see Brandy and Bob. Yeah, it's always nice to show up to a place with open arms, literally. Yeah. We love you guys. So we're here at Barefoot Campground. Uh, we're gonna go say hi to Charlene, get the gate code. Always look forward to seeing the Bristers. They're the property owners. You should know that by now. But if you're just checking out State Parkers, learn to love this place and come out and visit this place any chance you get. It's in Bend, Texas, Barefoot Campground. Barefoot Campground, you guys are amazing the way you treat us. They offered us a free night of camping here. We're gonna do everything we can to try to drive traffic towards this park. We try to encourage as many people to come out here and check this place out as we can because it's just one of the best camping spots you're gonna find in Central Texas, if not in Texas, anywhere. As for now, we're gonna go find a camp spot. Okay, we spotted a picnic table way down there. This looks promising. See if there's a fire pit. We went from cows to cats to dogs. This person's dog seems awfully interested in what we're doing. You can't have any of our firewood. Matter of fact, we're probably gonna come steal some of yours. Well, we checked it out and it's, a, it's an ideal spot if you wanna be isolated from anybody else. But the problem is this whole area is on a slant and we really don't wanna sleep slanted. We tried that last night and we both almost slid off of our tarp. Maybe we can get that one spot that we've always wanted to get where that tree was down. I pretty that's much a, guarantee we can get that. Yeah, that's a pretty cool spot. Let's go see if it's open. <laughs> Bye, doggy. And this stuff is dry. Finally, we got some dry wood we can burn tonight. This dog is ruthless. Well, for the first time in forever, we finally got the spot we've always kind of wanted to get. Mm-hmm. Wait, follow me. That is one of the largest fire pits I've ever seen. It's full of glass. We do have a nice view of the bluff across the way there. Mm -hmm. Now, here comes the dog again. He's going to have to go back home to his owner. Where's your home? Where's your home, huh? Whoa, you just went for a dip. One thing we just discovered about this spot, and we're glad we got it. Let me show you. That's right, serene, quiet, uninterrupted river access. Although, you do gotta watch out for the sand spurs. These are not happy times right here. Well, I 
take out our A-frame cooking system. We've been in the car all day. It's getting hotter. I think there's only one thing left to do right now. Wherever the dog belongs, needs to go back. So I think we're gonna put it in the bed of my truck. Her, we're gonna put her in the bed of my truck and uh, drive her back over in the area where she <laughs> latched onto us. You're pretty, but you're not ours. So we're gonna try to find your owner. You got it. Jump, jump. Don't make me pick you up. Ugh. There you go, you're a big girl. Get in there, go away. Loading it up. Loading it up. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. Okay, stay. Don't worry, baby girl. It won't be that bumpy of a ride. All right. The real trick is to find out where this dog belongs. I guess we'll just start where she started following us, which is up the other side of the park. And there she goes. She jump out? Yep. Well, she'll follow us, I'm sure. Yeah. Yep. We'll see. All Let's right. do it. <laughs> We got turkeys. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord. What is about to happen? <laughs> oh, they got away. They're going to go jump over a fence. There they go. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's relentlessly going after those turkeys. That is not our dog, folks. I honestly think she's going to catch a turkey. I think she is too. I think she's going to catch a turkey. <laughs> it's kind of out of our hands at this point. She'll hear the engine. She'll know we're going the opposite direction. If she wants to, she'll find us. And then we'll try to take her home again. But she didn't stay in the bed of the truck. So not our problem at this point. A for effort. Oh, that's right. I wonder if she'll bring us a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I give the dog 14 minutes from now before she shows back up here. Either with a turkey hanging out of her mouth or just blood all over her. Oh, she showed back up, huh? Any blood on you? Did you catch a turkey? No, I don't see any signs of animal murder. Okay, well, that's good. There you go, follow us. Good girl, she's just chugging along. She's gonna be pooped by the time she gets to wherever we're going. <laughs> well, it looks like she knows where she's going and she's not waiting for us. So oh, now yeah. tear her ass out of here. Right. <laughs> you did a great job there, baby. Hopefully she went home. Sometimes you sacrifice to get a shot and you end up with sand spurs completely all over your socks and shoes. The mountains are blue. Because even though we just escaped a hurricane and it rained a little bit and it cooled it off, doesn't mean it's not hot today. Holy crap. big plans for those big logs. Yes, we do. <laughs> we might have to go get some more eventually. We might, but I know where to get it. All right, you got your jalapeno flavor, formerly known as Mexican flavor. <laughs> and we've got the hickory smoked, some hearty green beans, and we're about to add the main ingredient, noodles. She did a fantastic job on that food. Been running this camera all day all yesterday and the night before overloaded it's been fun having you guys along we're not totally done yet we have tonight and then we're leaving in the morning to go back to work y'all know <laughs> mondays and tuesdays parks to ourselves 
Wednesday, get up, drive home, like, oh, I don't want to go home. Go to work, do it all over again next week. Now that we're all full and not wanting to move. Time to move. Time to move. <laughs> I got some headlamps and got my little camera bag. We're gonna take a leisurely stroll down this dirt road and just walk off some of this food. That little guy just kamikaze right into my truck. If we're lucky, we'll capture an image of one of those bats that's flying around over our head. We know that they fly in pattern, so... Keep it in that spot. There's the bats. Right there. Gotcha. Well, oh, just to make you all aware, that table, it signifies the final camp spot in the entire park on the, I guess, southern end. I've never camped here because it's kind of on a slant. It's kind of hard to sleep that way. Oh, it's very hard to sleep that way. That's why we didn't sleep last night. <laughs> but if you have a small little camper or something like that that you can sleep in and not worry about slants, I'd say this is the best spot in the park. Well, we made it back to camp. And what we're going to do now is grab the car keys, jump in the vehicle, and go charge some devices up. And go look at some more cool stuff. Here, barefoot, campground. All right, come on. Hello, everybody. There's Lenny. There's Mickey. What's up, Mickey? And we got Whitney. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Yeah, I've known him since middle school. Yes. Yes, Yo, Lenny. Yo, Nancy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Whitney. We love you, too. Sulphur Springs. It's funny about that one, um, Emily. We actually met their the owner's daughter. Her name's Kim. She works out at the uh, Ooh, at one Angeles. of the state parks up north. Not going to give it all away, <laughs> uh, but she's the daughter, and she's encouraged us to go check that out. We would love to. Hello from Los Angeles. Woo! Well, that was cool. We got to talk to our viewers. Yeah, we got a pretty good turnout, I guess. I mean, I feel like eleven is better than five. <laughs> yeah. Ever since that magazine mentioned, man, we've just blown <laughs> up. <laughs> I better watch out. But those of you who showed up. We really, really, really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. All right, we got to get back to camp. All right, let's do it. ourselves a grand adventure I couldn't agree with you more it's about that time though so we're gonna hit the tent hopefully sleep much better tonight than we did last night tonight I blew up my sleeping pad Melody always blows up her sleeping pad yep we'll see you guys in the morning looking forward to going to work tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I slept a lot better last night than I did the first two nights. Good. Um, I got cold last night, so I had to get up and change that. But as soon as I fixed that, it was good. We've gotten all packed up, and we are ready to head back into Lakeway. Yep. we got to work today. I want to thank you all for coming along on our first adventure back together. It's been awesome. Yeah. Looking forward to doing some more. Soon. Yes. Until then, I'm Clint. I'm Melody. If you haven't already, click on the subscribe button and then find us on Facebook and also on Instagram.
Wow. They got boots next to the bed, an old horse saddle. That's pretty fucking cool. Oh, <laughs> I'm always cussing, aren't I? <laughs>